Well, I'm over at the shop. After my trip to Florida, I came back and I'm trying to get on some of these projects that I still have to do and get finished and work on, this being one of them. But today I thought I'd take a few minutes and do some upgrades on my Ford 22 Maverick uh, for some of the garbage that I bought for it. Most of these upgrades are pretty simple, but one of them uh, was a little bit expensive and hard to get the part. So let's take a look at what we're going to do today on the Ford Maverick. I bought one of the uh, Ford factory bed extenders because it actually does help to have that extra space when you're hauling stuff around, especially if you're moving somebody's furniture or things like that. Uh, and because of the uh, roll-up uh, bed cover, uh, you lost a little bit there. So hopefully I'll be able to gain a little bit more space and not have to worry about stuff falling out on the interstate. This really was less of an installation as it was sticking them in here, but those are the factory Ford mats on both sides in the back that I purchased. I like those. Uh, and I bought some sill plates, which I don't know if I'd buy those again. They're kind of shiny and kind of skeezy looking for how much they charge for those. So I don't know about that. But the floor mats, they're awesome. I like them. The 2.5 engine is an amazing piece of architecture. But what I didn't like is that it looks almost unfinished. You can see all the wiring and the injectors. And um, I think it was the Focus or whatever the other vehicle that used the 2.5 engine. Um, they had an engine cover on it, so we're going to be installing, so I'm going to put in a stud here, here, it's already got two plastic studs here, and then we're going to put the engine cover on it from the other motor, <coughs> and I think it's going to look mucho better -o. This will probably be the easiest upgrade. This is the cover, it's kind of a foamy thing, heat resistant, oil resistant, looks nice, actually. The other two parts you have to have is this stud and this ball stud. So I'll go ahead and throw those on, and then uh, we'll go ahead and snap this baby on there. If you look on the back of the cover, you got one, two, three ball mounts, and then you've got this one um, stud that bolts down here. And we'll flip it over, and you can see I put, I've got the ball mount here. That's the extra one you have to add. It's got this one and this one already. So let me see if I can get this slid on there. Kind of have to go around. wiring hoses and everything. Yeah, you can kind of feel it snap onto it. It flexes a lot. And then we've got one stud to put in the back here. Alright, upgrade number one. And you can be the judge. Does that look better or just the bare wiring? I like that. It's kind of squishy. But you can still get to your oil. It's made for this motor. I'm sure to cut costs, I didn't put them on the Mavericks. I'll put the uh, price and everything and the part number down below of what I paid for it. But I think that just sets off the motor and looks much, much better than the raw motor. Okay, for the bed extender, first thing you got to do is take off your tail lights. There's two 8mm bolts. Awesome. You've got these two brackets. And you've got two brackets that look like this. Oh, okay. So those line up with these three holes right here. Alrighty. So you just line up that plate, screw it on, looks good. And then you can go ahead and put your uh, tail lights back on. So I'll do that real quick, put the tail lights back on. Awesome. All right, next thing is to use these. The unpainted part is your guide. It goes in that far. And most of them have been tight. This one's a little tight. It says you 
can use soda water, whatever. Give me a minute, I gotta fiddle with this. Alright, so I got it installed. I'm super happy with it. The hardest part was trying to get these uh, bars adjusted. I actually hit myself in the head trying to get one of them back apart. So a little WD-40 does not hurt um, to get them to slide in and out to get them where you want them. And then you put your two legs on. Um, it said to use uh, uh, rivets in there. I didn't put the rivets in at all. I just like to take with that. Um, so these sit down in there on your two brackets. You pull your handle. This just flips up. Goes down back there. And it also works as another divider. For the stuff in the back. Now, I was kind of worried that this might be too high, but my bed cover works just great with it. So, win win chicken dinner. Now, I will say this, right? Um, my dealership wanted, I can't remember how much, but I got with Fairway Ford, I had a bunch of points left over. Um, like, I don't know, 140,000 points from buying two Mavericks and all this. And I just emailed them and said, hey, I'd like to get one of these bed dividers um, for my Maverick. And they said, sure, no problem. Do you want us to ship it? This is how many points it takes. And I got it in a couple days. So Fairway Ford uh, is one of your best options to get factory parts. Those guys have been absolutely phenomenal to deal with. They have great pricing, uh, way less than list price. So um, I can only say great things about Fairway Ford. Um, that's where this came from. That's where I think the mats came from. Uh, on my other one, I had a... Uh, a bed cover that came from them and and there was an issue with it and they took care of it right away so fairway ford is like the go-to ford dealer if you want to order ford factory accessories because those guys um they're just really great to deal with i was really happy now if you remember when i got the truck i was super happy about getting it but i was just really upset about the um temperature gauges as far as like you know they advertise it with Two digital readouts my other maverick had two digital readouts and every time i looked at it, it just kind of got mad so every time i drive the truck and i gotta adjust the heating and air um i kind of get a little pissed off now i know that sounds dumb but every time i look at it i'm like that's not what's supposed to be on there for the most part i'm super happy with the truck but the one thing i was real unhappy with and i say real unhappy but you know whatever um the the heat control knobs they switch suppliers and they don't have a digital readout here right uh any longer so you have to turn the knob to see what the temperature is which should be okay now if you are here we go if you look on the main screen it has the temperature setting up in the top corner see it on the left 6872 but i don't use this screen uh at all i use android auto so it doesn't show up there so I don't know what the temperature set at. Now, you could say, you know, if you're hot, turn it down. If you're cold, turn it up. But um, I really did like having the readout there, and that's how they advertise the truck, and then they send this. So it's kind of like a bait and switch on that. Why did Ford do that? Probably, you know, the excuse is chips, but, you know, I still believe that if you advertise a truck with two uh, zone controls with a digital readout on it, that's what it, way it should come. Now, I've searched high and low. The only way to find that part with the dual readouts is to get a wrecked Lariat that was built before, I think, May, something like that. And I haven't found any in a used junkyard anywhere. At some point, there probably will be one, but I don't know. So I got with Tasca parts and got a my old Maverick, the one that had the readout. I gave them the VIN number for that, and I said, I need the heating and air control module. How much is that? And they said, ooh, that's about... 350 bucks something like that 300 I don't remember yeah I think it was 350 bucks and I said well you know what ship it and they said well there's only like three or four in the United States so um, it'll take a few days but we'll get it shipped to you and they did and here's the box now do I know what's in this box I know it's a heating and control module but I do not know is if it's the same one that's in this truck which is the thermometer picture ripoff Ford garbage or does it have the digital readouts i also don't know if it'll work if it's plugged in but that's that's step two right <laughs> let's get in the truck open it up and see what we got and if this is indeed the right part to have digital readouts on it and then i'll just be super happy
So here's the janky heating controls that came with it. It has a little thermometer here and a thermometer there, and that is not what my other Maverick had. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pry this off here and see what we got. I'm not sure exactly how it comes apart. But it looks like it comes apart pretty easily. So, so I'm going to unplug these and we're going to open up what's in that box and see if it is the right part or, or do I have to try to return it. <laughs> Alright, I got it unplugged. It wasn't really that difficult. Looks like there's a scrap if dropped it says. Ooh, I better not drop it. Um, I think there's a part number on it, but let's open up the new one and see if it's the right one. Jeez. It took about a week and a half, I think, maybe. Something like that. This is really hard to do with one hand, I'll tell you. All right, give me just a second. Dang it. It says something about here. Here's the part number. I'm going to put it down below as well. This is a control that was listed for my old one. It says something about core deposit. I don't know. I didn't pay a core deposit. Task of Ford Lincoln in Cranston, Rhode Island. Nice. I'm going to open it up and we'll see if we got the right one. Well, well, glory be to the highest of the Hi, this is the correct one. Steering wheel, seat heat, auto max, yeah, everything. And it's got digital controls. So I'm going to plug this thing in real quick and see if these digital controls pop up or I'm going to have to try to do something with, uh, with Forescan. All right. <laughs> I got it plugged in. Here's the moment of truth. Everybody, drum roll. Oh! Heck yeah! Freaking awesome! Look at that. I got my digital readout again. Only for $300. Ford should give me my money back for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the old one taken out. It's got a couple of, it looks like 6mm, 7mm, something like that. Bolts out and we'll get her zip back up. But man, I'm happy! Yeah, they do have completely different part numbers. This is the NZ6T18C, blah, blah, blah. And this is the NZ6Z19980B. So that's the part number you're looking for um, if you're looking for the ones with the remote with the digital control. I'm just really happy about that. <laughs> Okay, I spoke too soon. Yes, the display actually does show temperature. However, it does not show the AC button doesn't work. The um, seat heat doesn't work. The, the steering wheel heat doesn't work. So I think it's going to be something in a setting. I'm going to try to hook up Forescan and see if I can figure out where it's at. Uh, if you go to the Ford uh, Motorcraft website and you put in your VIN... You can actually look up all the module configurations of what it came with from the factory for that particular VIN, which was really helpful for me since I was trying to change it to match that module. So after I installed the uh, climate control, the uh, seat heater didn't work, the steering wheel heater didn't work, um, the AC button didn't operate so if you hit AC nothing would happen it wouldn't engage the thing so what I had to do was go into Forescan well the first thing I actually I had to do was I didn't know what all these values were but I did pull up the as built for my old Maverick that I had that had this exact uh, instrumentation in it so I printed out the as built right and that's going to be your 733's Pulled up the HVAC module in Forescan and I went in and I changed all those to the other Maverick that I had, saved it, tried it, works like a champ. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't know where to get this. Now, uh, you can go to the Ford website and get your as-built for your VIN number 
and you can play around with Forescan all you want to and we'll have a video later about Forescan but that's how I got this actually working was I changed all the values to um, the HVA module configuration I changed all these values to match the old truck that I had that had this module in it so um, and it works great and everything turns on like it's supposed to heat heat steering wheel heat um, so awesome so I got that fixed it's working now was it worth 350 bucks I don't know you tell me but when I look down here and I see those little numbers it makes me oh so very happy so <laughs> I got it working awesome <laughs> so that was pretty cool this is the uh, Elm 327 adapter that you use for Forescan and without that the module wasn't working I changed all the values to match my old uh, Maverick that I got in when was that April a couple months ago uh, that did have that module in it and it worked great so if you want your numbers back on your knobs that's what you're going to have to do spend about 350 bucks and take Forescan to go into it but it is super cool it works perfect I really like the other upgrades, uh, the bed extender, the uh, floor mats, which I had before, but those are awesome, a lot better than the carpet, um, the engine cover, which gives it a, a professional look and super cool uh, under the hood, and the threshold plates, which I wasn't that thrilled with, but they're okay, right? Uh, the Maverick is becoming a little bit more my vehicle and less stock vehicle, so, so that's awesome. Uh, let's see, what have I got here? Jeep hinges. Hinges for the Jeep. I powder coated them. They have these black covers for them and I was just like, you know what, I think I can powder coat them. Looks super good. Uh, this week I should be painting the Wrangler. I've got it just about prepped, almost ready for paint. So I'm happy about that. I've got a bunch of bolts powder coated, ready to go. So it should start coming back together as soon as I get that thing shot. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, Florida didn't kill me. It's all good. Everything's good. Uh, then we'll be starting on the TJ. So I appreciate you being a subscriber, watching uh, the Maverick. Now that I've got my little numbers on the dials, I know, doesn't that sound stupid? Uh, I am really super... <laughs> I'm just so excited about that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go in, drink me some coffee or beer or something, I don't know, and uh, get ready to get this Jeep painted. I appreciate you being a subscriber, watching. Any questions, comments, post them below. Um, the Ford Scan, once you get used to it, it's kind of cool. You can change a lot of things in there. Uh, and as long as you back everything up, you can change it right back the way it was before. So, uh, like I said, any questions, post them below. Uh, I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.